On February 13, 2015, Uprose, Brooklyn's oldest Latino community-based organization, held an open mic night. The speakers define a revolutionary as a person with a deep love for the people and passion for radical change. Thus, revolutionary love. We really want this organization to be the cultural mecca of Brooklyn. We want people, when they think about justice, think Uprose. When they think about where spoken word happens, that it happens here, that performances happen here. We, as a people, all we've had as a result of history and legacy of oppression has been our words. Those that has been our arsenal for love, our arsenal for fighting, that's our words. So for me, revolutionary love is uh, love unconditionally, uh, love that doesn't have any borders at all, um, no matter what gender you are, no matter what race, no matter what religion, to uh, show respect, to show unity, to show that uh, you know this is all our planet, and essentially, you know, we have to come together. Just we have to learn how to understand people. Uh, I think that there's a lot of uh, people who misunderstand each other, and because of that, that creates tension or hate, which is bad. Revolutionary, revolutionary love is anything that sparks change within self. And like, uh, I guess love is something that's beyond the physical realm, something you feel in your soul. You know, um, when people ask me to explain love, it's, it's, it's close to growing up as I feel like a kid again. How ironic. To go forward, to go back. To go back, to miss forward, so you skip steps, so you miss that fall on your face as a mistake, but you give all you got, but everything of value mistakes, then miss grabs and miss breaks as you wonder how she got so close to the. That's, that's what it is. I mean, like, I feel like this generation has diluted the word. So, like, they don't really know what it even means anymore. And, like, uh, everything they talk about is just disloyalty and, like, independence and all that jazz. And, like, you know, sometimes you just gotta be, like, an old soul and you gotta find love. You gotta change back to the old ways, you know? I mean, if you listen to, like, the, today's music, all they think about is, you know, club going up <laughs> on a Tuesday. I'm like, really? You don't wanna read? You don't wanna do your homework? You don't wanna better yourself in any way, shape, or form? You know, you're not, you, you're not really. You're not really bettering yourself. You just, you just, it's just, it's just numbing the, the temporary pain that you have for another, you know. And that's what I think it is. I don't really think it's numbing. I think we're taking the traditions that we've learned from our parents and the, the type, the different types of love that we've learned along the way, and more revolting against that and taking it in a new shape. I don't really think that what we're doing is numbing and taking it in a superficial way, but more like making it have more meaning because it's so diluted, because it's so, um, in, the word love has become almost a dirty word, you know? And I think because of because of what we've learned from, from generations before us and learning like what it could be in its purest form, we're trying to find that but then make it our own. And that's, I mean, that ties revolution and love in a beautiful way. I feel like when you say love is lost, I think you kind of like, you kind of take it out of the context because to me, love is kind of like water. It takes whatever shape you want to fill it with. So I feel like it's not that love is lost, it's that love has changed its form. Just like I just want to walk in the grass in between and show you that there is no set path to love. You, my Helen, me, your Paris, standing there erect like the Eiffel Tower. I want to linger my head upon your infinity. Just like water changes its form. And so now we're seeing a different way, like in this generation and how it's emerging, how love kind of uh, manifests itself and, into our culture. So I don't think it's, it's lost, it's just changed. And I, I think that's different. I guess that's what a revolutionary love affair would be. <laughs>